Hi guys, how you doing? Okay, haven't uh, put a video up for a couple of days. I was uh, upgrading my workstation and a bunch of other stuff, which we'll talk about later on. But for now, what we're doing is we're building castles. That's what I set out to do when the new uh, sandbox was was delivered to us. I thought, this place needs castles. Come on. We don't have the tower anymore, so we need to build something. So this is using the portal skin by Stukris and it changes the blocks quite radically and the way they interact with each other as well, as you'll see. Because with, I started with uh, building the keep first, the slightest tap and it explodes, the whole thing just explodes. And it's very spectacular and it's very cool to watch but it's not very practical. So I had to find ways around that uh, and I also had to design the castle overall because I want to do a tutorial on it in live stream and actually build one you know, straight up. You know, it looks simple, but they're actually quite complex. Um, so this was the full castle, and it was 1800 blocks, so that had to come down as well. No good at all, 1800. So this is the full size castle, once it had the formula pretty much worked out. And it did the same thing, it exploded on contact with anything and anybody. But again, it was very spectacular to watch, it's a lot of fun. Um, I, I, even so though, I didn't learn anything about why it was doing this, why it was exploding. I messed around with the settings a lot, but um, I got nice visuals out of it, so that's it. I mean, one of the other things is um, there is no even ground in the centre of the new sandbox. It's all got those little bumps on it. So you have to go to the barren sandbox to find flat ground or go outside the gates here, outside the statues. However, I persevered. And uh, I had a little couple more goes with this, just filming it down at 10% and 1% and just to see if I could find any clue. No clue. Alrighty, so we changed up. We went from 1800 blocks to 400 blocks, which is this one. And it is way more stable. So there's a clue in there somewhere as to what went wrong. Now, okay, so now you can see a lot of different things. For instance, I'm using a lot of different skins, not just uh, the portal skin. I'm using the Midas. I'll put all the lists for all the skins in the description. I think it's Redstone Man for Midas, and uh, Shade for the Pine and Mahogany, and Phenom for the flags and the uh, couple other pieces, and the wheel pack, yeah. And I think sets for the cannons, which is in the simplest, simple skins pack. So there's a lot of skins involved here. If you wanted to download it, um, you would have to, exactly as it is, you would have to go and get all those skins. Or you can just make up your own. It will go with whatever skins you want. So, also, I haven't uploaded a, a model, a creation for a long, long time. So both of these are up. Uh, in the workshop, it's just the one you see, uh, with uh, expanded blocks and then the 400 count and the, it's finished as well. Even the doors open and everything. So it's there and ready. Um, if you want the bigger one, the crazy one that explodes on contact with anything, uh, the 1800, it's on the forums, you need to go to the forums for that one. Um, so there we had it, UK. So let's see, I'm going to do a live stream and I'm going to build this thing live, but obviously we'll want to change it a little bit while we're going along. Uh, I also just be boring to see the same thing getting built. So any suggestions you've got, uh, leave them in the comments and I will see if I can work them into the live stream and also any comments you've got for any live streams you would like to see covering any basics or any topics because I really want to do more uh, live streaming. The last couple went really quite long, the frame per second dropped like crazy. This is it responding to bombs by the way and it does quite well. Uh, as you can see it still feels explodable. It's got pins in it this time to hold the bottom ones in place. So if you want it to collapse completely you know you press the pins so that it will all give up at the right time. Um, yeah, where are we? Um, yeah, my live streaming uh, it should improve now. I've have got uh, I've got XSplit Pro Professional or whatever deluxe version you got. Oh, not XSplit uh, broadcast XSplit broadcaster. So I should be able to easily handle um, nice smooth streams. But we'll see. We'll do an experimental one very soon within the next 24 hours. Um, so until then. I'll just leave you. Let's see. I'm sorry I didn't upload anything previously, but um, I was busy with a whole bunch of stuff. Hopefully, I can get back into some kind of routine now. Um, and let us see, I'm taking on ideas now from other people. Uh, it's not that I've got any shortage of myself, but I just would like to see what other people would like built and see if I can build it. Um, a little bit of a challenge to myself. 
and um, okay so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next one and I'll hopefully see you on the live stream which i will now advertise in advance a little bit so that people can know because i've been fighting shy of that because of my setup hasn't been good but i think it's perfect now okay bye